Time is precious. Congress and the White House only have until Friday to agree on a budget to avoid a government shutdown. Now, if they don't, it might just mean you get less time to spend with your loved ones this Christmas. CBS 17's Michael Hyland joins us live from RDU tonight. Michael, there is concern for a lot of people. Yeah, while well, people waited in line here today, one of their main concerns is how this could affect them getting back here. Planes still have to land. People still have to get around, even if it takes a while this time of year for that to happen. Alan O'Hara is traveling for business, but plans to go home to Ireland soon. Um, I'm traveling Friday. I'm gone for two weeks, so hopefully something would be resolved by then, by the time I need to come back into the country. Threat of a partial government shutdown looms as the holiday travel season begins. By the 5th of January, the TSA expects 41 million people to fly. Ariel Warner is heading to Dubai to meet up with her mom. I travel a lot, so it's just kind of a breeze to me, but I don't think anything will be affected by it. A spokesman for TSA says baggage screeners are essential. They'll still have to come to work during a shutdown, even though they won't get paid right away. The same goes for air traffic controllers and customs agents. I asked Governor Roy Cooper about this, too. Some employees of state agencies get paid with federal funding. With the potential for the government shutdown, are there any concerns about particular impacts on North Carolina if that happens? We've been planning for this. I had my cabinet meeting about this and talked with my budget director yesterday. He says with the way the budget works, people People likely won't see many impacts early on, but like people traveling, he hopes this all gets averted before the deadline. I also checked in with managers here at RDU. Even if there is a partial shutdown, they're not saying passengers need to get here any earlier than they already planned. They're just encouraging people to come early simply because of how many people are going to be traveling here over the next couple of weeks. Live at RDU, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.